all right guys in this video i'm going to demonstrate my academic project that i have made for class 12 so let's see so let me discuss the criteria first so it is actually library management project that i have made using python and a local database called sqlite 3 now soon i'm gonna implement mysql in it but for now let it be so now let's run it now the main thing that i want to discuss here is the security issue that i am having that i have fixed um, with a module that i have made by myself that is security.py so anytime you are going to open any file you will be redirected to login page as you can see so now this is the login page that uh, our project looks like so now let me quickly give the credentials so now password as you guys can see the password is in like coded form so that no one can see your password let me re log in it so now this is the home screen and these are some uh, features uh, which my application libman is providing so let's see first the uh, all students so when you're going to click on the all student button you will be redirected to a window that will give you a list of all the students that you have in your uh, record so let's move towards the next uh, feature that is new book so now here you can add book so let me add a new book for you guys i'm gonna add beauty game of rounds author is going to be um let's say the author is going to be r r martin and the publication is going to be martin and company all right guys so now the cost is going to be about 1209 rupees and our date of buying is going to be 1205 2018 i'm gonna add this book all right guys now as you can see um a pop-up comes and it is saying that new book added thanks for using our services now i can close it now let's move towards the third feature which is all books when you're going to click it you will be redirected to a page where you get the list of all the books that you have in the records so for now we are just having the game of thrones book that we have just added so let me move towards the next feature of this application um, which is going to be new student so all right so here you can add a new student in your record let me add like shift a random name with a random class with a random roll number with a random father name let's say kumar rn whatever it doesn't matter the phone number let it will be anything and let's say address to be kabusera or something whatever now let me click on this add student now as you guys can see new student is added so let me move towards the next uh, student next feature which is update book so now here you can make up uh, changes to your book so now you just need to add the id let me just add the id of the book that we have previously added when you're gonna search the book it will automatically populate the field now as you guys can see here is capital so now i'm gonna um, update this particular information and let C to be capital and now when I'm going to click on this update book it will show you that uh, the book is updated now guys when you're gonna see in the all book section you will see that in this section capital C is um, on the uppercase and also capital A is in the lowercase so let's move to the next feature which is delete book so now here you can guys can delete the book so you just need to add three uh, as a book id whatever you want to add delete then it will search it and when you're going to click on delete button the book is deleted now when you guys are going to see in the all book section you will find that no book is there and now we're going to move towards the next book which is search book so we are not having currently any book so it will give you an error let's just add something you can see error 
and find the desired book check error or call something so let's move towards the next feature which is delete student now here guys you can delete student let me just delete let's search it so let's just type an id and click on the search it will populate the field let me delete this student student name only deleted from our records you can't access it anymore all right guys now when you're gonna see the all student section you will find that uh, the id number 11 is deleted money so let's move towards the next feature which is search student here you guys can search student just by writing the admission number let me type 8 and click on the search student it will automatically populate the fields as you guys can see let me move towards the next feature which is the last feature and it is the update student here you guys can update any student let me just type 5 and okay guys so here you can see nisha and the class is 8 i want it to be 9 and the roll number be changed to 5 let me update this record as you guys can see thanks for updating and that's all now now this record is updated when you're gonna see in the all student section you will find that the roll number with 5 is going to shift to 9 and the roll number is 5 from 8 so this is what we have what i have made for my academic project so thanks for watching guys if you want to buy it then you can